Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first annual Cohoskers Mid-Season Awards. We're bringing the Cohoskers back, and we did a, uh, a polled community uh, to get their nominees, and we presented them to you in polls, and the community voted on the winners, uh, and we have a, a consensus, a ceremony to present to you for our first ever Mid-Season Awards to capitalize on the films that came out before September, the first sort of half of the year before we get Oscar season to highlight movies that might not get talked about once we get through Oscar season. But my co-presenter of the day, the man who will most likely be assisting me with co for the rest of the year, Caleb Lobo Boatman. Uh, how are you? Are you excited to reveal these co winners? I was excited when you asked me about it, and now it's 2 a.m. in the morning, and I'm less excited. But still, let's do this. Um, yeah, this is going to be fun. Uh, I'm like the only other admin that actually cares about the Oscars, like Cody kind of does, but let's be honest, not really. It's it's. I don't see Cody sitting here at 2 a.m. wanting to go over who won fake internet Oscar polls that I named after myself with me. So, uh, hey, uh, but we'll go ahead. We'll get into the first uh, category. I you named this after Jonathan Kahosker. That too. All right, we'll get into the first category, which is the category of best post credit scene. The nominees are Captain Marvel. I know who's on the other end of that thing. Where's Fury? Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Fish in the sea. Shazam. <laughs> of course it's not real. I can't talk to fish. Spider-Man Far From Home. real name is... Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. And Toy Story 4. And the Cohosker goes to Spider-Man Far From Home. Are we shocked? Are we really shocked? Uh, no, I mean, J.K. Simmons is a national treasure. And I think that post credit scene kind of actually had a lot of weight for the MCU. It might be one of the best post credit scenes in the MCU's history. Too bad we'll never see it paid off because Sony hates us. All right. Tony is a whore. The next category is Best Soundtrack. And your nominees are Booksmart, Climax, Guava Island, The Lion King, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Rocket Man, Yesterday, and The Kahosker goes to rocket man uh i would like to say this whole thing is invalid because blinded by the light was not nominated listen then you all disrespected the boss listen we all know that you're an iowa piece of trash who loves bruce springsteen it's okay um Baby, can, we were born to run the next category is best ensemble the category that deals in the best overall casts a self-explanatory award your category your nominees for best ensemble are avengers endgame book smart the farewell Good Boys, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, The Peanut Butter Falcon, Ready or Not, and the Kohoska goes to Avengers Endgame. Are we shocked again? Uh, the amount of superheroes that are in this movie, I kind of understand it. Uh, I think just this community only watches superhero movies. Let's be real. So, yeah. Ah, who knows? I think this, this is kind of a deserved one. I mean, yes, they have watched superhero movies, but I think this is like a deserved win. Uh, maybe some of the other ones. I know you're a big Once Upon a Time in Hollywood guy. Um, uh, which one is the farewell? I, oh, honest, I honestly would have thrown my vote maybe more towards Peanut Butter Falcon myself but um because yeah, you like that that's your favorite movie of the year that's why you vote for it true and the farewell is yours so we're both shields uh best stunts these are people punching and your nominees are avengers endgame crawl fast and furious presents hobbs and shaw fighting with my family 
John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Spider-Man, Far From Home. And the Kahasker goes to John Wick 3, Parabellum. Uh, it, it was going to go John Wick. It, it was I John have Wick. seen this movie and I voted for John Wick. Uh, that explains everything. This movie won in a landslide and it wasn't close, but it's also a lot of gunplay. I was pretty shocked. This is the first year that a Fast and Furious film was nominated and lost the award for best stunts, so that's pretty insane. The next category is best visual effects, a category that brings things to life that we absolutely love. And your nominees are Alita Battle Angel, Avengers Endgame, Godzilla King of the Monsters, the Lion King, Pokemon Detective Pikachu, Shazam, Spider-Man Far From Home, and the Kohosker goes to Avengers Endgame. This, I think, is the deserved win. The visuals yeah. in the movie are incredible. I was going to be cynical about it, but no, this, this movie looks great. Uh, I think the actual Oscar should go to this film as well, uh, depending on Ad Astra. I haven't seen it yet, but we'll see. All right. Best sound design is the next category. Uh, Nominees are Avengers Endgame, Guava Island, Life's The Lion King, Not Fair, Rocket Man, Spider Man Far From Home, I may send the elemental back to the dimensional rift, but I don't think I'm gonna make it off this bridge alive. Toy oh, Story 4, I'll be a rainbow connection. You, Mr. Toads, want to take a wild ride with a kid? And yesterday. And your winner of the Co Hosker is Avengers Endgame. I mean, it's a, it's a hard category. Like, when you do action films, you gotta take into account the mixing and editing of how the sound is when you do the punches and the ray guns and everything. Makes sense. But also when you got, like, Guava Island and Yesterday and Rocket Man, which are, like, big musicals, those usually tend to win uh, the actual awards. But I think Endgame makes sense here. Okay. I think this is this community just being itself and voting for the superhero movie. Maybe. Your next category, best hair and makeup. The Academy might do three, we do seven. Your nominees are Avengers Endgame, The Dead Don't Die, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, The Peanut Butter Falcon, Ready or Not, Rocket Man, Us. And the Kohosker for best hair and makeup goes to Rocket Man. This one makes sense. This one makes sense. Lots of lots of poofy wigs and teeth and, and hair. And, and bald patches that I'm yeah. sure Taryn doesn't actually have. Uh, stuff like that. But uh, I, I, any excuse for Rocket Man to win an award is a good night tonight. It's the second win for the film tonight. Uh, so far, I believe it is the second most winningest film. Avengers Endgame currently in the lead with three wins tonight. Um, so Next one. Best costume design. These go out to the people who keep our movie characters from being naked. And your co Oscar nominees are Aladdin, Avengers Endgame, Midsommar, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Ready or Not, Rocket Man, Us. And the co Oscar goes to. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, because the 70s or late 60s whatever coho looks nasty. I mean, I would have given it maybe to Rocket Man. I think those costumes are elaborate and well done. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, these, this, is, this is, as much as I love La La Land, it's kind of the same thing as the La La Land getting a costume design nomination. They're kind of just wearing clothes. Um, and even well, though yeah, I think, I think the dresses, the colorful clothes. dresses... The colorful dresses from La La Land make sense, but I feel like this is this is this is sixties clothes that you find in the thrift shop. But I don't know. All right, the next category is best original song for the musically inclined people that want to get into film. The nominees are "The Ballad of the Lonesome Cowboy," Toy Story Four, "The Dead Don't Die," The Dead Don't Die, "Glasgow," Wild Rose, "I Can't Let You Throw Yourself Away," Toy Story Four, "Never Too Late." The Lion King, Summer Song, 
yesterday. Speechless, Aladdin. And the co-hosker for best original song goes to I Can't Let You Throw Yourself Away, Toy Story 4. Um, this is a fun song. It's not the one I would have given it to, personally. Oh, uh, this is composed by Rudolfo Old Woman, I believe. Um, fantastic score, fantastic song. You know, Coho, a great score can take us to places we've never been before, like the dentist's office or the bathroom in your local Wendy's. Fair enough. These are the films that take us places. Best original score, the nominees are Alan Silvestri, Avengers Endgame. What's wrong? Alex Weston, Please? The Farewell. John Powell, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Tom Zimmer, The Lion King. It's never gonna last. Matthew Marjus, Rocket. Randy Dillon, Toy Story 4. Michael Abel's Us. And the Kohosker goes to. Avengers Endgame because this community is a comic book whore. <laughs> but we can be real. Alice of Street deserves it on this one. Portals is one of the most beautiful pieces maybe nah, of the decade. Nah, fam. Nah. You're just, you're just a pretentious hack. This is why we can't work together anymore. I mean, I am a pretentious hack, but that is beside the point. All right. The next category is Best Production Design, formerly known as Best Art Direction, formerly best, known as Best Set Decoration. We can call it whatever we want, but it's about how the people bring our worlds to life and how things look on set. So the nominees are Aladdin, Avengers Endgame, The Farewell, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Ready or Not, Rocket Man, Us. And the Kohosker goes to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, this is the deserved win. Yes. Uh, th this is a very deserved win. It brought old Hollywood to life. This is the most deserved win of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood on the night, which is now up to, uh, I believe this is, its, this is the second win, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood tonight. Uh, now tied with Rocket Man for second place. Avengers Endgame up to four wins on the night, Oscar Kohosker wise. You know, Koho. A great film editor can make sure that matches get done on time and that we get to watch uh, Chicago matches. Um, but no, no, I love you, Kane. Uh, but no, these are the nominees for best film editing. Avengers Endgame. The Farewell. John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Rocket Man, Spider Man Far From Home, Toy Story 4. And the co Oscar goes to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, the third win for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood now puts it firmly in second place. It is coming after Avengers Endgame for the most wins on the night. Uh, Brian, this, Brian this, Michaels is rolling over in his grave. He right is now. rolling over in his grave right now. It's a metaphorical grave. Uh, as this was a tie with John Wick Chapter 3 that was broken by the nominating committee. Uh, and now Once Upon a Time in Hollywood picks up another win. Best Cinematography, a category that Jake Marangoni dreams about every night when he goes to sleep as to what will be nominated and probably has thoughts and opinions as to what was nominated this year. The nominees for Best Cinematography are Trent Opalak, Avengers Endgame. Anna Franquesa Solano, The Farewell. Dan Lawson, John Wick, Chapter 3, Parabellum. Robert Richardson, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Nigel Bluck, The Peanut Butter Falcon. George Richmond, Rocket Man. Mike Gulakis, Us. And the Kohosker for Best Cinematography goes to Robert Richardson, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, not my vote. Wouldn't have voted for this one. I think the cinematography is good. I just I think I think there are better shot movies this year than I mean I all these movies knew how to point the camera at things. And I think that's that's the main takeaway. That is true. With this, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood has tied Avengers Endgame. Both have picked up four Kohoskers on the night. I think we're seeing a trend. One of these movies might be taking home a co for Best Picture. Who knows? 
but we'll move on to the very Kohasker categories, as I like to call the ring of pop culture. The category of best remake reboot, also known as why. And the nominees are Aladdin, Child's Play, Dora and the Lost City of Gold, Dumbo, The Lion King, Men in Black International, Pet Cemetery. I believe Ian Malcolm summed these category nominees up best, but the co Oscar goes to Aladdin. I think of these correct choice? No. Uh no, no. Uh Dumbo was I guess the best option, but um, did you see Dora and the Lost City of Gold though? That Why? movie that movie, to quote Cody Dewberry, slaps. Cody Newberry slapped you? He wanted to slap this movie. All right. Uh, we move on to the next category in the ring of pop culture, best sequel, because we need to award corporate greed and studios constantly churning out follow-ups. Yeah. Your nominees for best sequel are Avengers Endgame, Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. The Lego Movie 2, The Second Part. Spider-Man, Far From Home. Toy Story 4. And the co Oscar for Best Sequel goes to Avengers Endgame. The <coughs> fifth co Oscar win for Avengers Endgame puts it back in the lead. You're telling me this this community likes comic book movies? I'm I'm gonna have a heart attack. Well, if you think that's gonna give you a heart attack, the next category might just make you drop dead, okay. but the next category is Best French Surrealist Film. That is uh that is a Moonlight La La Land situation if I ever heard one. Uh no, the category is actually best comic book movie. And the nominees are Avengers Endgame. Captain Marvel, Dark Phoenix, Men in Black International, Polar, Shazam, Spider-Man, colon, Far From Home. And the co Husker goes to... It is another one for Avengers Endgame. Wow. The, wow. I'm I'm so surprised. Like, the uh the sixth Co Oscar win for Avengers Endgame on the night. Uh so it is sweeping. That right there, the six wins, I believe, is the same amount of wins that the best movie of all time, La La Land, got at the actual Oscars. So that just shows you how good Avengers Endgame is that is sweeping the less important version of the Oscars made by regular humans. That's that's bold of you to assume I'm a regular human. The next category is best animated feature celebrating the handcrafted or computer generated films of the year. The nominees are How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, The Lego Movie 2, The Second Part, The Lion King, Missing Link. Toy Story 4, Weathering With You, and the Kohoska goes to Toy Story 4. Um, I think that's a deserved win. Uh, phenomenal film. One of the best of the year. So Yes, very, very uh, animated. Uh, second win for Toy Story 4 on the night. Next one, best cameo. And no, this is not referring to the mid-80s R&B sensation cameo. This is about people in movies. And the nominees are Robert Carlyle, Yesterday. You want a good life? It's not complicated. Tell the girl you love that you love her. Stan Lee, Avengers. 
Stan Lee, Captain Marvel. Trust me. Stephen Merchant, Good Boys. Uh. It's my mom back there. Hi, uh. Ryan Reynolds, you in Fast and Furious, Hobbs, Hobbs and Shaw. Do you even age? How long's it been? Six months. Time flies. When we're apart. What is your skincare regimen? Because you look like a young Shirley Temple. J.K. Simmons, Spider-Man Far From Home. Spider-Man was responsible for the brutal murder of Mysterio, an interdimensional warrior who gave his life to protect our planet and who will no doubt go down in history as the greatest superhero of John Slattery, Avengers Endgame. You want to come work for me, Potts? I'm a little tied up in futures right now. And the Kohosker goes to J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson in Spider-Man Far From Home. Absolutely, J.K. Simmons eked out the win on this one from my personal vote, Robert Carlyle as John Lennon in Yesterday. A phenomenal cameo performance, but I think J.K. Simmons coming back was just brilliant. It's the definition of a cameo. He shows up and improves the movie and just the minimal screen time that he has. Uh, so congratulations, Mr. Simmons. You have brought home a co hosker in the cameo category and the second win for Spider-Man Far From Home tonight. The next category is Best Adapted Screenplay. This goes out to the writers who write great screenplays based on previously written material. And the nominees for Best Adapted Screenplay are Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely, Avengers Endgame. Mickey Daughtry and Tobias Iconis, Five Feet Apart. M. Night Shyamalan, Glass. Dean DeBloy, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Henry Gaiden and Darren Lemke, Shazam. Chris McKenna and Eric Summers, Spider-Man Far From Home. Andrew Stanton and Stephanie Folsom, Toy Story 4. And the Kohosker goes to... Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely, Avengers Endgame. Uh, I would seven... like to point out that that man's name is McFeely. That's all I'm gonna McFeely, say. Marcus and McFeely bringing home the seventh Kohaska win for Avengers Endgame tonight in the Best Adapted Screenplay ca category. All right. So congratulations yeah. to those two writers. Next category, Best Original Screenplay. Emily Halpern, Sarah Haskins, Susanna Fogel, Katie Silverman, Booksmart. Lulu Wang, The Farewell. Lee Eisenberg, Gene Stupinski, Good Boys. Quentin Tarantino, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Tyler Nelson and Michael Schwartz, The Peanut Butter Falcon. Lee Hall, Rocket Man, Jordan Peele, Us. And the co Oscar for Best Original Screenplay goes to Booksmart. This. I like this one. I think this one. Booksmart winning original screenplay. The first win for Booksmart tonight is a very deserved win. Yes. Uh, so congratulations to Emily Halpern, Sarah Haskins, Susanna Fogel, and Katie Silverman bringing and home Panda. and for bringing home the win for Booksmart tonight for best original screenplay. <laughs> the next category is best young actor, actress, best performance by a child under 18 who gives one of the best performances of the year, highlighting a demographic often overlooked. The nominees for best young actor, actress tonight are Julia, Julia Butters, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. We've got a scene after lunch. Yeah? Eating lunch before I do a scene makes me sluggish. I believe it's the job of an actor, and I say actor, not actress, because the word actress is nonsensical. Jackson A. Dunn, Brightburn. Dylan Grazer, it's a, it's a Shazam. Game. Trust me, I speak from experience. Victor pushed me. They seem nice, but don't buy it. 
It gets real Game of Thrones around here. What? Dude, I'm just, just messing around. It's, um, it's terminal cancer. I only have three months. Kidding, again? You look at me and you're like, why so dark? You're a disabled foster kid. You've got it all, right? Shahidi Wright Joseph. Us. Isabella Monet. Dora and, and you the don't lost look before Kim. you leave. No! I'm okay, but I'm party with Good a beer, boys. so everyone knows that I'm cool. What do you have in your pants? It's been like this ever since I was a baby. It's kind of embarrassing. Are we fifth grade Jacob Tremblay. Sixth grade. Good. Boy. No! And the Kohoskar for Best Young Actor Actress goes to Julia Butters. Once upon a time in Hollywood, uh, bringing the role of Trudy Fraser to life. Phenomenal performance by the young Julia Butters. Someone no, to keep great. an eye on. Yeah. Uh, once again, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, that is the fifth win for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood tonight at the Kowalskers, I believe, off the top of my head. Otherwise, don't listen to me. Best Director is the next category. And the nominees are Josh Cooley, Toy Story 4, Dexter Fletcher, Rocket Man. Tyler Nielsen and Michael Schwartz, The Peanut Butter Falcon, Anthony and Joe Russo, Avengers Endgame, Quentin Tarantino, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Lulu Wang, The Farewell, Olivia Wilde, Booksmart. And the co Oscar goes to. Yep, of Anthony and Joe Russo for Avengers Endgame. This community, everybody, let's just let's just give ourselves a hand. The eighth Kohoska win for Avengers Endgame tonight, the Russo Brothers winning the directing award, beating Tarantino by one vote. Hit me again. Uh, <laughs> one vote, getting the Russo Brothers their first Kohoska. They were previously nominated at the Kohoskers last year. The act at the fourth annual Kohoskers last year for Best Director for Avengers Infinity War, winning the Midsummer Award for Endgame. Well, they win the actual award. At the uh, fifth annual Oscars, we're going to find out in February. The next category tonight is Best Supporting Actress. These are the women who make the film better, even though they are not the leads in the film. The nominees are Bryce Dallas Howard, Rocket Man. For God's sake, I know that. Known for years. You don't mind? Frankly, I don't care. But I'd rather you keep that sort of thing to yourself. I just hope you realize you're choosing a life of being alone forever. Lily James. And then you've had yesterday. 10 years. Exactly right. But... No, so I have been waiting half my life for you to wake up and love me. Having loved you for half a lifetime, I realized when you left that I had made a bad choice doing that. And now it's got even trickier because if <laughs> you were playing in pubs, we were the perfect match. But now I'm an actual school teacher in actual Lowestoft, and you're the world's greatest singer songwriter. No, I'm not. Except that you probably are. Scarlett Johansson, Avengers Endgame. You know, I'd offer to cook you dinner, but you seem pretty miserable already. Me here to do your laundry? And to see a friend. Clearly your friend is fine. Vanessa Kirby. Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah. <gasps> Billy Lord. I'm so happy you guys are here. <sighs> I knew you guys partied. Didn't I, Jared? You did, she said I it. I told him. Those guys seem quiet, but they're probably spending every weekend at like a sex dungeon. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Here. Strawberries, strawberries. Okay. <sighs> no, 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 no. Naomi Scott, I Aladdin. You All I know is I won't go speechless, speechless. 
Choosing Zhao. Oh, the farewell. Too much. 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 Winning her first Cohosker tonight for Booksmart, the second win for Booksmart tonight at the midseason awards. So Booksmart picking up some steam. Just when I thought this community couldn't be any dumber, they go ahead and totally redeem themselves. She steals this movie. Uh, Gigi is the best character. Gigi for president 2020. Your next category, best supporting actor. These are the people who are supporting in their own movies and not acting. But also Jamie like, Bell, Rocket Man. Oh, cool. Yeah, that sounds like a cowboy name. Yeah, all I ever, uh, all I ever wanted us to be was a cowboy, you see. Do you like country and western music? Yeah. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Have you heard Streets of Laredo by Marty Robbins? Mm. <sighs> That's good. As I walked out in the streets of Laredo, as I walked out in Laredo one day, I spied a boy cowboy <laughs> wrapped in white linen, wrapped in white linen. Zach got second. Peanut butter falcon. Body, bro, dogs, and chill. Have a good time. Jake Gyllenhaal, Spider-Man: Far from, from Home. Where are you headed? I'm gonna go find MJ. Good luck, kid. I'll give you about a 50-50 chance. You're pretty awkward, so. <laughs> yeah. See you later, man. See ya. See, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> Somebody get this stupid Tony Hale, Toy Story boys. 4. T -t -t uh, trash. No, no, no. That's the trash. These are your friends. Come on. Hey. Ah. <gasps> trash. Shh, shh, no, no, it's okay. Chris Temsworth, yeah. Avengers Endgame. Why? Why? Why does it look all right? You look like melted ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's up? Is it ever a hangover? We need your help. Hmm. There might be a chance we could fix everything. Well, like the cable? This has been driving me bananas for weeks. Like Thanos. Richard Madden, Rocket Man. Man. Arranging 250 gigs in 26 different countries. Rock and Roll's actually 112 employment contracts, insurance, copyright indemnity, renegotiating your previously insane contracts and wiping your arse. Do you know all you do, Elton, is play the piano, but for me, Rock and Roll is an $87 million a year industry. Brad Pitt, he's the cowboy guy that needs to make movies there. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> Surprised how accurate that description of me really is. Some old cowboy guy that used to shoot movies at Spawn Ranch. She used to make westerns at the ranch back in the old timey days. Well, if by the old timey days you mean television eight years ago. Yeah. Me an actor? No, I'm Husker stuck. goes to Brad Pitt as Cliff Booth in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Another win for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Brad Pitt, deserving win, uh, running through that category. A lot of deserving nominees. Uh, namely, want to shout out Tony Hale as uh, Forky in Toy Story 4, uh, getting the nomination, as well as Zach Gossigan, the, the Peter Butter Falcon. Very stacked category this year. Definitely, definitely. I have right. thoughts on Forky, but I will keep them myself. All right, your next category is the category of Best Actress, the women who lead films and make them some of the best performances of the year. Your nominees are Aquafina, The Farewell. 
Caitlin Dever, Booksmart. <laughs> I had the exact same thing. Really? I lost my virginity in what I thought was a park, but it turned out to be a graveyard, and now the ghost spirits live inside my eggs, waiting to be reborn. It's not at all the same. I always felt like we were. Beanie Feldstein. It's true that his Book dad got him a sex worker for his 14th birthday. It's too weird of a story to be made up. There's so many specifics. He sprained his ankle. She had a hearing aid. What up, chicas? It's intolerable. Lupita Nyong'o. Us. Run! <laughs> Florence Pooh fighting with my thing. Charlize Theron, long shot. I don't feel anything. You don't feel it? No, I don't feel a fucking thing. Emma Thompson. Can I just remind everybody Late here night. that the stakes could not be higher. That's when I come alive as a performer. Yeah. Can I see that? Absolutely. The Oscar for Best Actress goes to Lupita Nyong'o, Us. First win for Us tonight at the Co-Oscars, and it's for Lupita Nyong'o. Outstanding dual performance. Thoughts? Uh, no, she's great. She's great in this. Uh, she was my vote. Uh, the community did a good job this time. And best actor, Leonardo DiCaprio. Once upon a time, like time in Hollywood. Goddamn people! Robert Downey Jr. Come here, a bunch of Avengers tired old mules. I got nothing for you, Cap. I got no coordinates, no clues, no strategies, no options, zero zip, nada, no trust. Karen Edgerton, Rocket One. They pay to see Elton John. Oh man! James McAvoy, class. The room. In the... <laughs> we gotta clean these pants, Casey. <laughs> As his body slowly succumbs to the inevitable, a sensation of cold water spreads through his body. John Reeves, John Wick Chapter Three, Parabellum. Good to see you. Seth too. Rogen, long shot. I guess is the problem with that. Speaking as an American, shouldn't you see both sides? Yeah, I see one side's fucking wrong. What? What's the problem here? I'm a Republican. You're fucking joking right now. Member of the GOP. Yeah, you know me. You're a Republican. Yeah, I'm a Republican. This shit has worked out so far for me. What the fuck, man? All that shit you're always saying to me. Yeah. Oh, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps and being in charge of your own destiny? And the Kohasker oh, goes to Taron Edgerton as Elton John in Rocket Man. Third Kohasker win for the film Rocket Man tonight. Very strong performance from Edgerton. Deserving win. His first Kohasker win here tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, this. This was not my vote, but I respect it because he could actually sing, unlike the guy that put on a fake mustache and did a British accent, and everybody like just wet themselves over it. Well, that's your opinion, but we're going to get into the big award of the night Best Picture. The nominees are Avengers Endgame, Book Smart, The Farewell, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Long Shot, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, The Peanut Butter Falcon, Rocket Man, Spider-Man Far From Home, Toy Story 4. And the Kohasker for the Mid-Season Award for Best Picture goes to Avengers Endgame. Avengers Endgame has bring, brings home the midseason award for Best Picture. Will it get nominated at the actual co Oscars? Almost more than certainly. Will it win the co Oscar? Who knows? Infinity War won Best Picture last year at the fourth annual awards. Anything is possible. But you know what? Avengers Endgame, you have won Best Picture this year for the midseason awards, the inaugural midseason co Oscar award winner for Best Picture. 
Have you all watched a movie? Any other movie? Do you guys just sit in a dark room watching Avengers Endgame all day because it has Iron Boy and Thor Man? Like, y'all need... Watch The Farewell. Watch The Farewell. Watch Peanut Butter Falcon. Watch other movies. Things exist. I will say this was one of the most contested Best Picture races of all time. Avengers Endgame beating Once Upon a Time in Hollywood by one vote for Best Picture. So those two were at war all night. Endgame won the war with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. But that has been our broadcast of the first annual Cohoskers Mid-Season Awards. This is the kickoff to our Cohoskers uh, Oscar season runs. Boatman and I will be back doing various videos from now until the actual Oscars, until we get to a special where we reveal the fifth annual Cohoskers, make our own actual Oscar predictions, reveal the fifth annual Cohoskers, and hell, we will actually watch the Oscars with another live stream come that time. This is just the beginning of Oscar season, and we are glad you have all joined us for the ride but that is going to do it for us i have been caleb coho and that has been caleb boatman and this has been the cohoskers mid-season awards thank you all good night